And you are now watching Cloud Rock TV. Yeah! Uh, my name is James Beckham. I'm one half of the clothing company that is Indian Clothing. Uh, I do the design work and uh, I love what I do. That's what I do. Uh, Indian Clothing is established dominance. It's a, it's a thought based company. Uh, we try to base around the ideas that uh, you establish dominance by coexisting, thinking outside the box, you know, being generous to other positive ideals, that stuff as opposed to the, you know, stereotypical, you know, more money, more power kind of mentality. Uh, we try to incorporate that into all of our designs. We should try to have some kind of deeper meaning as to get people to think about it more. So, which kind of reflects on our company. We want people to think. It's not necessarily the whole, uh, be nice to everybody, happy-go-lucky positivity more so much as the, you know, think about more ways to do things, think about more ways to, like, view things or accept things. We just feel that someone who can understand more people, who can talk to more people, relate to more people, can do better in this world than somebody who dominates other people or tries to get over on other people and stuff like that. I uh, definitely think we progressed. Uh, our first logo T-shirt was like uh, <laughs> it was shitty to say the least. Like it was, it was pretty bad. But we had a lot of people who supported us, people who bought the shirt anyway. And uh, I think we've, I've grown as a graphic designer. Um, our marketing strategies, the methods in which we communicate our, our messages through our artwork and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've gotten a lot better about that. Um, we've gotten a lot more open-minded as to what we can do. We got a little bolder with the hoodies and the crew necks. It's like the first garment we've ever done other than a white t-shirt. Like, I've, I've never been the person who was like uh, good at like knowing what shirts to match and like what style was hip or whatever. So I'm, I'm definitely starting to learn more about the street world culture as I get more immersed into it. So yeah, I think, we, I think we've grown. I know we have a lot more growing to do. I have a lot more to learn as a designer, but uh, I think we're starting to figure things out a little better. I try to reach out to everybody. I think we're more based in the skate hip hop culture, but uh, yeah, it's, it's for anybody and everybody. Uh, we have, we're trying to have some cardigans and polos coming out next fall, fall and winter. Uh, some Letterman jackets. We try to do different style caps, different style uh, long sleeves, hoodies, pullovers, screw necks. Like whatever we can do to reach out to more people, we do that. We we hope that someday, if you see somebody wearing an ED shirt, that I should symbolize, you know, somebody who thinks outside the box. Just as plain and simple as we can put it. Just anybody who looks at clothing as more than just clothing. Like, uh, you know, like I, I try to treat all this, all our shirt designs and all our crew necks, all the stuff like that. I try to treat it as kind of like more than just a, an image on a shirt. We try to really make it our artwork, something that if you ask us about it, we can give you an in-depth, like from the bottom of our heart, explanation of why we chose that as opposed to something else. Uh, like, not, you know, every, everybody has their own style, but we just, we want to make our clothing more artwork than just clothing. We hope that someday someone, people can look at Ed Clothing shirts as artwork and like, as people who really do care about the urban streetwear culture and like, take it seriously. Yeah, at edclothing.storyv.com is where you can purchase our merchandise and things. But yeah, facebook.com slash edclothing. Thanks a lot to Cloud Rob TV for giving us this interview. We really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, just check us out.